to Shortwood with the Hereford manager Peter Beadle. How close was that to your best performance of the season? I think it was. I think it was our best performance. I think, you know, I think we've played a team tonight that I would expect to be in the top, you know, in the top ten, top eight. So they're going to be, you know, and this is not an easy place to come and win. So, so do it in the style we did it in. Obviously, that's really pleasing. And you know, up and up to the very end, when they started bombarding us a little bit with maybe a bit more direct balls, we, we looked quite comfortable as well. So we looked we looked good at both ends, and uh, and the middle boys, you know, seem to be getting into a much better rhythm now as well. Good width as well. I thought Tristan Plummer showed what he's capable of tonight. Yeah, well, we questioned him at half, but we asked for him a little bit more for both the wide men first half at half time. So we, you know, we know that Rob's not a natural left winger, um, but like Pablo on Saturday, he can offer an awful lot out there. Um, and Tristan, you know, we questioned, not questioned him, but we asked him to, you know, to have a bit more of an impact. And he did exactly that. So, you know, and again, it's, it's, it's slowly, slowly with Tristan because he hasn't, like I said, he hasn't had a, what I'd call a proper pre-season and he hasn't had much game time. So we've got to be a little bit careful with him. But, but I would expect him to be, you know, doing that on a more frequent basis. So, but okay, they both done, they both done well. I mean, like I said, to, to a man, one to 11, it's hard to pick out someone that didn't, that didn't do well tonight. And another clean sheet, they got close as you said, but that, that yeah. stands you in good stead. Well, I mean, they had a great chance first half. I thought we were a little bit unlucky with the ricochet. It dropped straight at his feet, and, uh, but Horse made a great save. Um, outside of that, I think they had we had the one right at the end that was cleared off the line. Or I mean, I can't say it looked like it was cleared off the line, but it's hard to tell from where we are. Um, and then Horse had a couple of shots down his throat, which he dealt with quite comfortably. So, And again, so you're talking like two... Two real good chances. Horse made a save, kid off the line, and then two down his throat. So if that's if four, if four chances are what we've kept them to, we've done extremely well tonight. Because like I said, they are a, a decent outfit. They'll be strong, and and like I said, it'll be a tough place to come here. What must please you as well is the tempo. You talked about getting the passing going a bit quicker and yeah, a bit yeah. more, a bit more determination. That, that I think, was there to see today. I think yeah, there was. I mean, the pitch, the pitch is the pitch looks really good, and it, and it was good out there. It's flat and lots of lots of grass on it. A little bit long, but. A lot of them are going to be long this time of the year, but as the evening went on, it started to slicken up, and and I thought we moved it really well, and 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 it shows because because we move the ball as quick as we do, teams find it a lot harder because we have far more possession than them. They spend an awful lot more time defending than we do, um, and because of that, hopefully that means they can't get into any real rhythm, um, and it all comes down to how quickly we can move the ball, and that's why I was disappointed on Saturday last at Totten, and again on Tuesday night at home because we we didn't quite move it. As, as we have done before and now I want us to but the last two games we've been we've been better again and like I said we we always look for you know progression and improvement in performance and and I think we've gone you know one step further again from Bridgewater on Saturday and that clean sheet that you're always looking for yeah we like I just said to them then it's an important clean sheet here to keep a clean sheet here is a, is a feat on its own and, and like I said and that's now two on the bounce and, and and everything becomes becomes a habit playing well keeping clean sheets creating chances they become habits um, if we continually do them week after week and so that's two now in a week that we've done extremely well um, and, and we look in a good place at the moment and you know, like I said we're at the moment now I'm sure the, the lads are just you know, looking forward to the games as they come Four wins on the spin FA Cup duty at the weekend against Staff Church you looking forward to that? Yeah, it'll be it'll be nice to renew old acquaintances from last year, and <laughs> and uh, you know, and and we know it's going to be a tough game, and we know they'll be maybe looking to come and get some retribution, and also to go through because you know it's, there's there's good money in this competition, so so it's important that we we take it seriously. It's not the be all and end all. We know that it's not bread and butter. We want the league, as we did last year, um, but also a cup run can be very healthy for not only for confidence but for for the funds as well for. For, for our budgets and stuff so so like I said we'll, we'll, we'll approach the game as we do every game to try and win it um, uh, but, but, we, but we know that, and we know it's going to be a tough game and, uh, and we'll like I said we'll, we'll look forward to it and prepare properly on Thursday and, and finally quick word of players that were absent uh, Mike Simmons and what's the latest with the international clearance coming through well the latest international clearance is, is that we're still waiting unfortunately and, and this is the thing and I don't understand what takes so long to clear someone and we, we put the clearance in two weeks ago yesterday and we're still waiting so who knows it might come through tomorrow and then Chris can then get down to some work and, and hopefully get, get involved quickly um, Mike Mike was away at a wedding I think ah, I wasn't just, was sure whether he's working or... no 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 well he's a, he's a tutor at Heartbreak and they yes. don't start back yet so right. uh, 
I knew about it in pre-season and I, it's a shame because obviously he's done well and but again now we've had another great win tonight and he's going to have to fight to get his place back in the side and you know and that's what we have to that's what we're aiming at is we want good competition and you know I think Jamie Cuss came on Saturday and done extremely well he's done extremely well again tonight in the little time that he had um, so you know so all of a sudden now we've got we've got real competition in lots of good areas so uh, like I said it's, it's as professional as you want to be, it's difficult when, when lads have tutors and they have family things come up and, and you can't begrudge them that. So unfortunately, that had to take precedence tonight. I'd liked it to have been different, but but as we've gone and got a result without him, I'm sure he'll be just as happy as we are to get the result and now he's got a fart on his hands to get back in the team. Peter Beadle, thanks very much. No